I don't feel particularly brave being a firefighter. It's a job I really wanted to do. It just really appealed to me. I've got children and I've plowed everything into bringing them up that I'd never really done anything for myself. I didn't even expect to get through the course. It was one of the hardest things I've ever done. But I proved myself wrong and did it. One of the proudest moments of my life, definitely. I met Kev two years ago. I gave Karen my number. I wrote it on a beer map. And I messaged him back a few days later. And she was um, keeping me waiting a bit. I found a lump um, in October while I was doing my training. Went to the doctors and was referred. I was fit, healthy, you know, I don't smoke or drink. I never expected it to be anything serious. I was told within an hour of me being there that um, they thought it was cancer. It was a triple negative breast cancer in my uh, lymph nodes in my neck and um, in my lungs as well. Um, among all the questions that she asked, I heard this answer saying, you've probably got three months. I heard that and I kept, it kept being repeated in my ears. From that moment on, things have never been the same. They've said my response has been exceptional. I'd gone into a mission, so I'm, I'm you know, quite lucky that I've been given extra time. I was desperate to get back to work and just get back to normality. I was absolutely ecstatic to be back at work and doing the job that I really wanted to do and, and loved and that I never, I think, to be honest, I never thought that I'd, I'd get to do. Last week, I got taken ill. Just started off as a bit of a headache. My local hospital sent me for an emergency CT scan. It came back and said that it was uh, abnormal and that there's two small tumours which have spread in my brain. It's like just being thrown back in the deep end. Just wondering if you know, I'm going to get to spend another Christmas with the kids. Kids six and eight, I worry about them having to grow up without me. Ruby, she said, Mummy, what if he died this time? What am I going to do without a mummy? You meet someone and everything about that person is just what you've been looking for. And me and Karen found that. And then this has happened and, you know, it... it it's it, it's a difficult one to accept. 